go to our website, there's, there's two addresses, tmbmedical.com or drtobybond.com. Either one will take you to the same website. And here it is, and this is the home page on the website. And if you go to the top right corner, it says patient login. Okay. And I can just, you just click that. And that takes you to a server in Massachusetts. And then you'll have a username and a password that only the patient will know. I, actually, I will not even. But I can access the patient's records internally, look at all their labs, but only the patient will have their own uh, personal sign-in. And when they go to this site, they're on a secure server in Massachusetts. And it is, it is just as secure as a government site. So once again, the medical information will not be flowing back and forth over the internet. You're going into a server with a, with a password to go into their server to access your medical records. The first thing we're going to do is sign into your own, own personal uh, portal page. Um, once again, our website will take you to the portal entrance. It's called the eClinical Web. And then you sign in with your um, secret password. And I'm signing in right now. And then once you sign in, now you're on your own personal web page. Um, the home page here, we're going to set up some uh, some reminders for you. When your mammograms do, when your colonoscopies do, um, if you're due for a pap smear, and so we can keep a uh, a list of uh, your dates. Also, we can keep a list of when you received your immunizations because no one can ever remember when they got their last tetanus shot, for example. Next, once again, um, using the cursor here, you can go to the refill request. Um, you can click on that box. When you go to the refill request page, you can click on the, uh, the medicine you would like to have refilled and then hit refill request and an email sent to the office and it comes in straight through your personal medical rec uh, record to myself and then I and you send it and then I, I will fill it if I feel that it's appropriate to refill. So I will go on and send a message to myself then that I need some medicine. Going back there you can make a new appointment. You just click the new appointment page or the icon and um, you can ask for the different appointment types you can ask for a provider, uh, you can ask for a weekday, a day of the week, or you can ask for uh, a time preference and then you just send it right there and then you'll send me a request and then we'll email you back with a time. Most people just ask for Tuesday afternoon after 2 o'clock and then we will try to see if we can look at our schedule and make things work out. If you forgot your last appointment, you can click on current appointment and find out when your appointment is and what time. Uh, once again, if you were to go to the lab section, these are the list of labs and if you wanted to look at all your labs, you would just click onto one of them. As you see on the right side, you have the reference range and on the left, you have your lab values. So you can actually tell if something is high or low. At the top right corner, you can print your labs there or you can go back to where you started from and check the labs. Uh, once again, if you go to a specialist office, you can actually just pull this up on the screen in front of them, print it out, or you can print it out before you go to see them. And then the last, the most, one of the most important things that people are interested in is in their cholesterol level. Uh, next, you can go back to your, um, your personal health record and click on that. At the top, you have your demographics and then as you scroll down your problem type, your problem list will be under descriptions. It will be hypertension, diabetes, coronary artery disease, your medicines and the dosages, uh, your last immunizations, you'll have a section on your vital signs, uh, your social history, uh, family history, and then at the bottom you have your doctor's address, phone number, and then your insurance uh, information at the bottom. And once again you can print this out anywhere in the world uh, you can access your your uh, personal health record anywhere you can get on the internet